This is Sam Gilliam. He is an African American color field artist. His artwork is really unique because, because usually color field artists would have a kind of system where they paint on a flat canvas. Sam Gilliam took his canvases off of their rectangular frames and had them hanging up. And he says it reminds him of clothes hanging on clotheslines. And also this allows the painting to be in the viewer's space, making it an experience. So today we're gonna to be making a freestanding or um, hanging off a wall Sam Gilliam painting. I'm gonna show you how to do it with marker, you could do it with paint, um, but basically we're gonna take a tissue or a napkin and dye it different colors to make an abstract picture. So it should be non-objective -object or abstract, which means it should just be colors and designs. If you have markers, you can color on a smooth surface like a plastic bag or a piece of tin foil. And what we're gonna do is we're going to take the color, spread it out, make not very detailed designs, and then we're going to transfer it to the napkin by either wetting the napkin or wetting the marker surface with the spray bottle. So if you don't have a spray bottle, you can just make the um, napkin or paper towel a little bit damp and then you can transfer the color design. I also have my watercolors out because you can also just paint the surface and do this or just paint the napkin. If you have neither of these, another thing you could do is water down food coloring, put it on a surface, and then dye the napkin. Either way, um, try to find a solution to dye a napkin. And this, I sprayed it to make the markers wet and see how it transfers to um, my napkin. So I'm going to try to do this on both sides because if this was a freestanding sculpture, kind of like you saw how the last Sam Gilliam was hanging from the ceiling, um, you would be able to see it from more than one side. I'm coloring on my smooth surface with these washable markers. If you're using Sharpie, that won't work unless you use rubbing alcohol to diffuse the Sharpie. The washable markers spray to make it wet or make your napkin wet and it will transfer. Our goal is to make an expressive, very colorful piece of fabric or a tissue that we can then create a more sculptural um, finished product with. So like I said, you can just paint on the napkin if you want, you can dye it any way you want, but you're making a non-objective, which means not a picture of something, and trying to cover both sides. Doing my last side now. You can see that my surface is still a little wet. That's okay. I just need some color so that way it bleeds onto the napkin. Spraying it down. Pressing it to get the color off. Being gentle so I don't rip it. And now I have a piece of textile or for us our napkins or paper towels or tissues that we can now create a Sam Gilliam inspired sculptural painting with. So once you have this, you might wanna let it dry a little bit, but then decide if you want to put it on two things to kind of make it look like it's standing up, like two little pointy objects so you can make it look like almost like a tent. Think about those points having two points so that way, or three points or more, so that way it kind of looks like those tents or those um, clothing that's hanging from a clothesline. So that water bottle I decided, or that spray bottle I decided wasn't pointy enough. So I'm going with this water bottle. And think about what side you want to be facing you when you take your photo. 
So there's a lot of decision making with um, how it is arranged. So that's one way you can do it. Another way is like you saw him have some of his paintings on the wall, but still draped. I'm gonna take two thumbtacks and um, pinch my napkin kind of like in the middle sections of both ends like that. Find a side that I wanna show and thumbtack it to the wall. I'll show you the final product in a second. But it's nice to have some of the um, now can fold over each other to give it a little bit more dimension. Mine's still wet, so I'm being super gentle with how I'm folding it. There we go, and there's my Sam Gilliam inspired piece of textile. Yeah.